T-pop here, all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. And I'm gonna give you an example of why I hate and despise humanity. Stay tuned. So my wife and I go into Barnes and Nobles today. Today is Saturday. Beautiful, sunny day. A week ago, it was like 10 below. Today, it's 50 degrees outside. We go into Barnes and Noble. We're wandering around. We go into the coffee shop, which is like a pseudo Starbucks. And there's five people in line in front of me. I'm buying a bottle of root beer and a can of hummus or something. Get my wife a decaf. So we're standing, we're waiting, and we're waiting, we're waiting, and some sweet young thing, some young girl comes in. She's maybe 20 years old. She cuts in line in front of everybody, grabs a bottle of uh, water, and said, does anybody mind if I cut in today? It's for my 80-year-old mother. And I'm like, your 80-year-old mother? I mean, this girl, if this girl was 20, she'd be lucky. Her mother would have had to have been 60, pushing out puppies when she was 60 years old. There's no way this lady has an 80-year-old mother, unless her mother adopted her or something. I mean, even if she does have an 80-year-old mother, who cares? Why does that give her the right to cut in front of everybody? Of course, everybody let her in. They're like, oh, sure. Of course, it doesn't hurt that she was a sweet, young, blonde thing. And, like, everybody just seems to get weak in the knees over blondes, and especially especially men, but women do it too. Oh, sure, honey, go ahead. It's for your 80-year-old mother. Oh, no. Don't let her be thirsty. She's probably dying somewhere in the in the, in the the shelving of, the, of Barnes & Nobles in the, the section of how to rehab a wooden leg or something. 